Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Micah chapter 2. This is the Amplified Version. Woe to oppressors. Woe! Judgment is coming to those who devise wickedness and plot evil on their beds. When morning comes, they practice evil because it is in the power of their hands. They covet fields and seize them, and houses and take them away. They oppress and rob a man and his house, a man and his inheritance. Therefore, thus says the Lord, Behold, I am planning against this family a disaster, exile, like a noose from which you cannot remove your necks, nor will you be able to walk haughtily and erect. For it will be an evil time of subjugation to the invaders. On that day, they shall take up a taunting, deriding parable against you, and wail with the doleful and bitter song of mourning and say, We are completely destroyed. God exchanges the inheritance of my people, how he removes it from me. He divides our fields to the rebellious, our captors. Therefore, you will have no one stretching a measuring line, dividing the common land. For you, by lot, in the assembly of the Lord, do not speak out, so they speak out. But if they do not speak out concerning these things, reproaches will not be turned back. Is it being said, O house of Jacob, is the spirit of the Lord impatient? Or are these prophesied judgments? his doings. Do not my words do good to the one walking uprightly? But lately my people have stood up as an enemy and have made me their antagonist. You strip the ornaments off the garment of those unsuspecting passers-by, like those returned from war. You evict the women, widows of my people, each one from her pleasant house, from her young fatherless children, you take away my splendor and blessing forever by putting them among the pagans away from me. Arise and depart, because the captivity is inevitable. For this land is not the place of rest, because of the defilement that brings destruction, a painful and terrible destruction. If a man walking in a false spirit, spouting deception, should lie and say, I will prophesy to you, O Israel, of wine and liquor, greed, sensual pleasure. He would be the acceptable spokesman of this people. I shall most certainly assemble all of you, O Jacob. I shall surely gather the remnant of Israel. I shall bring them together like sheep in the fold, multiplying the nation like a flock in the midst of its pasture. The place will swarm with many people and hum loudly with noise. The breaker, the Messiah who opens the way, shall go up before them, liberating them. They will break out, pass through the gate, and go out. So their king goes on before them, the Lord at their head. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.